Hello friends, in this video I am going to tell you about clavicle bone. Clavicle bone ka introduction, side determination and general features. So chaliye start karte hai clavicle bone. Here is the diagram of clavicle bone. This is the superior aspect of right clavicle and this is the inferior aspect of right clavicle. Clavicle Introduction The clavicle is a long bone, the only long bone that lies horizontally in our body. It supports the shoulder so that arm can swing clearly away from the trunk. It is subcutaneous throughout. We can palpate our clavicle bone. Clavicle bone is also called collar bone or beauty bone. The clavicle transmits the weight of the limb to the sternum. The bone has a cylindrical part called the shaft and two ends lateral and medial. Any long bone has two end and intervening shaft. This is horizontally placed so, so the two end is lateral and medial. If any long bone is long bone is placed vertically then there is two end that is upper end and lower end. But because of its peculiarities, it lies horizontally, so it has two ends, lateral and medial end. Now we are moving towards side determination. Side determination uh, three point here. The first point is the lateral end is flat and the medial end is large and quadrilateral. The second point is the shaft is slightly curved so that it is convex forwards in its medial two thirds and concave forwards in its lateral one third. Third point is the inferior surface is grooved longitudinally in its middle one third. Side determination is over. Now we come to the feature. Features of clavicle bone. First we take the shaft. Shaft is divisible into the lateral one third and the medial two third. We can clearly see in this diagram the clavicle is divided into medial two third and lateral one third. This is the lateral and this is the medial. The lateral one third of the shaft has two borders, anterior and posterior border and has two surfaces superior and inferior. The lateral one third of the clavicle has two borders, anterior and posterior and two surfaces, superior and inferior. The superior surface is subcutaneous and the inferior surface is presents an elevation called the conoid tubercle and a ris called the trapezoid ris. Now we further move towards the medial two third. The medial two-third of the shaft is rounded and it is said to have four surfaces. It's because of the medial two-third part of the shaft is rounded so it has no borders, only four surfaces. Anterior surface, posterior surface, inferior surface and superior surface. Posterior surface is smooth. Anterior surface is further divided into two parts, medial end and lateral half medial end is rough over uh, middle end has rough oval impression and lateral half of the inferior part of medial two third of the shaft of the clavicle is has longitudinal subclavian groove and the superior surface of the medial two third of the shaft of the clavicle is rough in its medial part now we move further towards lateral and medial ends. Lateral end is also known as acromial end. So the lateral or acromial end is flattened from above downwards. It bears a facet that articulates with the acromion process of the scapula to form the acromioclavicular joint. And the medial end. The medial end is also known as sternal end. So the medial or sternal end is quadrangular and articulates with the clavicular notch of the manubrium 
sternae to form the sternoclavicular joint. The articular surface extends to the inferior aspect for articulation with the first costal cartilage. Now we can see the diagram. In this diagram we can see this is the acromial end or lateral end. This is rounded and this is the sternal end or medial end and we can see this is quadrangular in shape. Superior aspect of the right clavicle. When we see the clavicle from superior side we can see this like we can see the appearance of clavicle like this. In this clavicle the posterior part is this and anterior part is this. The middle part is this and the lateral part is this. And in the second diagram the inferior this is the diagram of the inferior aspect of the right clavicle and because this is the inferior aspect so the anterior part is this and posterior part is this and lateral is this and medial is this medial is quadrangular and lateral is rounded in inferior aspect there is a trapezoid ridge on the lateral one third of the clavicle and there is a subclavian groove and the subclavian groove is present medial two thirds of the shaft of the clavicle. So here is all about clavicle. In my next video I am going to tell you about attachments of clavicle. How many muscles and ligaments are attached with clavicle for bone. Ok dear friends subscribe my channel like comments and share. Thank you guys.